Hello everybody, my name is Ilya. And my name is Tyler. Together we make up Cobre, a couple that loves to play board games. And teaching them. Today we'll be teaching you how to play Waffle Time. Bum, ba, da, bum. Flip, flip, flip your waffles. No, that's pancakes. Oh. But you... Oh yeah. Waffle Time is designed by Maxim Demier and published by AEG. Let's head on over to the table and learn how to play, shall we? As always, you'll begin by setting up. You'll place the draft board at the center of the table and shuffle and randomize the draft tokens, placing them on the board. You'll place a turn order tile matching the player count, and then shuffle the fruit pattern cards for each fruit and deal one face up in a row where all players can see them. You'll add the standard scoring card and draw three goal cards randomly just below the fruit pattern cards. Each of the three goals you drew will receive one butter token. Finally, you'll place the fruit, cream, and syrup tokens within reach of all players. Each player will then receive a waffle board and a random syrup card. The card will show you where to place your cream and fruit tokens on your waffle to get it ready for play. After setup, you'll flip your syrup card and add six syrup beads from the supply on top of the card. You'll randomize turn order. Some players will receive additional syrup tokens, and now you're ready to play. Waffle time is played over eight rounds. Each round, players will take one turn each, collecting toppings, which they'll add to their waffle, hoping for the most delicious arrangement they can manage. Now let's go over player turns. Each turn will have four steps. The first step is to place your pawn and take toppings. You'll place your pawn in any unoccupied space on the board and take the two toppings from the supply that match the two tile closest to the pawn in a straight line. The second step is to place the toppings on the waffle. You won't take the tiles from the board, but rather the tokens matching the toppings from the supply and place them anywhere on your waffle. It doesn't matter what orientation the toppings are in, but they must be placed side by side. Diagonally does not count. A couple additional rules for placement. Cream tokens may only be placed on empty waffle spaces. Fruit tokens can be placed on empty waffle spaces or spaces with a previously placed cream token. Syrup beads may only be placed on a syrup dispenser. There's no restrictions on how many syrup beads are on your syrup card. The next step is to check for fruit patterns. If you've created any patterns that match the fruit pattern cards, you'll be able to place your syrup tokens on the pattern. A couple rules to note here. You may complete any amount of patterns in each pattern multiple times in the same turn if you're able to. Patterns you complete must contain at least one fruit token you've placed this turn. Patterns can be flipped and rotated and patterns can indeed reuse fruit with syrup already on them. If you run out of syrup, place as many tokens as you can. The additional syrup opportunity will be lost. The last step is to check for goals. Goals will usually ask for a specific pattern of syrup or a combination of fruit anywhere on the waffle. Each goal card can be completed only once by each player, and the first player to complete each goal will obtain a butter token, which will be added to your waffle to score you additional points at the end of the game. Once everyone has taken a turn, you'll proceed to clean up. You'll first return the player pawns to the turn order tile based on the distance counting spaces clockwise from the tile. You'll then gain syrup tokens based on the player order. You'll move the turn order tile one space clockwise. And finally, refresh all three draft tiles with a fork on the turn order tile. You're now ready to begin the next round. You'll keep playing until the turn order tile has reached the last position on the board meaning eight rounds have passed, at which point you'll skip the cleanup phase and proceed directly to the final scoring. You'll first earn points for toppings on your waffle, one point per space with syrup on fruit, three points per space on syrup on fruit on cream, and two points per space with butter. You'll then earn points for your completed goals, and lastly, two points if you have no syrup left remaining on your syrup dispenser card. You'll tally the points, and the player with the most wins. Thank you so much for watching our how to play video. I'm hungry. I am also hungry. Time to go eat. But before we do that, if you liked this video, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you're new here, because we make weekly board game content and we'd love to talk more with you about them. Let, let us know what your favorite waffle toppings are, because we can talk waffles as well as board games. Mm -hmm. Can we have waffles for dinner? We sure can. We've got a waffle maker for that. Anyways, we'll see you in the next one. Bye!